Toler, former general manager of the Los Angeles Sparks, back with another Points from Penny. I promised you some predictions a couple of weeks ago. So here I am with predictions, predictions, predictions. But before I start, I want to say, needless to say, if you're competing, every team has an opportunity to win a championship. So I'm not here to offend anybody. I'm just giving my predictions. So without further ado, give my predictions. There are four factors I took into consideration when making my prediction. And the first factor is a shortened season, 22 games. This is going to be huge for players such as Diana, Sue, Candace Parker, Simone Augustus, and Angel McCautry. These players have a lot of miles on their legs. But with a shortened season, I look for these players to be dynamic and fantastic. Number two, the core nucleus. Which teams have had their core in place for a couple of years? I think this is going to be huge, especially with the short preseason. Teams that are familiar with each other, I think even though with a, a short preseason, they're going to be able to get out the gate fast. So number two, a core nucleus that's been together for a while. Number three, there's no substitution for this, and that's experience. Players that have been in the playoffs, done competed at a high level, done won championships. It's not enough just to have talent in this situation. You have to have experience, and that's going to be a key. And number four, you have great coaches in this league. All the coaches in the WNBA, I think, are great coaches but you need those leaders on the floor. And that's going to be a huge component on which leaders can lead their team to a championship. So now, my teams that I think will have an opportunity to win a championship. The Los Angeles Sparks, Seattle Storm, Las Vegas Aces, Venus Mercury, and the Chicago Sky. Now, make no mistake, because I don't want anybody to be offended out there. When you compete in a sport, every team that's competing has an opportunity to win a championship. But these are my prediction of the teams that has the highest percentage to win a 2020 WNBA championship. Let's talk about the Los Angeles Sparks, a team that I'm very familiar with, as many of you may know. The core nucleus of this team has been together for a while, and I look for them to make another great run. Let's talk about Chelsea Gray, Neka Agumake, Candace Parker, Raquana Williams, Sydney Weiss, and Tierra Ruffin Pratt. Out this season is Shanae Agumake, Chrissy Tolliver, and Maria Vadiva, and those are some power hitters out. But don't worry, the Sparks have kind of reloaded with some nice players, starting with one nice player, and that's Simone Augustus. She brings experience, toughness, high basketball IQ, and guess what else? It doesn't hurt that she has four rings. Then they build out the rest of the roster with Brittany Sykes, Anigwe, Rashana Gray, Maria Gulich, and Tia Cooper, who I also think will contribute to the Sparks making a good run. Also, I think the team will be better with Derek in his second year, second year in, this, in the WNBA that I look for them to do a really, really good job this year. So I want to say good luck to the Sparks. Once the Sparks, always the Sparks, and I'm always going to be rooting for my Sparks. Seattle Storm, another great roster that has another core that's been together. This nucleus is incredible. They have a very deep roster and it's going to be an exciting 2020 season for them. Well, let's start with the head coach, Dan Hughes. He elected not to go in the bubble for health concerns. So Gary Clockenberg will assume the head coaching duties this year for 2020. Gary is no stranger to the league. Gary was the head coach for the Tulsa Shock, which is now known as the Dallas Wings. He also was an assistant coach with the Los Angeles Sparks. Gary is a very, very talented coach. He's knowledgeable. He knows the league. 
He's been around forever. I look for Seattle to do well up on the Gary. And Gary, I'm going to say good luck. Hopefully you can win that title this year too. But now, let's dive into this, I mean, very, very talented roster. And let's start with the return of two of the heaviest hitters in the league. Sue Bird and Rihanna Stewart will be returning to the roster. Add that with Jordan Canada, who last year I thought had a breakout year when Sue wasn't there. That experience is going to be invaluable. So you have Jordan Canada and Sue Bird. They have some great leaders to lead this team to a championship. So the rest of the roster, the incredible Jewel Lloyd, Natasha Howard, Alisa Tuff Clark, Morgan Tuck, and Mercedes Russell, who I thought did an awesome job last year with the absence of Brianna Stewart. And then you have an MVP back in the lineup in Brianna Stewart. This team is locked and loaded and make a run for the 2020 season. It's going to be tough because I tell you, between them and LA, it's going to be an awesome season. But I want to say to Seattle too, good luck. Next, we have the Las Vegas Aces, coached by Bill Lambeer. One thing I can say about Bill, I think Bill is an excellent coach, and his team will always be in the running for a championship. Out this season is Liz Cambridge, which is going to be a huge loss in the middle. Kelsey Plum is out due to an injury, an Achilles injury. But don't worry, here is another team that's stacked. They may miss Liz Height in the middle, but they're not going to miss her points because Las Vegas has reloaded when it comes to the offense. So let's start with their talented roster, which begins with one of the best players in the WNBA and Asia Wilson. Just awesome, a phenomenal player. Can play with her back to the basket, can shoot, face up, play defense, play offense. What a leader. Then you have Kaylee McBride, another what? Sharp shooter. I mean, give her an inch and she's going to kill you. Then here's the difference maker. Remember this name, Dierica Hamby. I watched her over the last two seasons and she's gotten better and better and better. If Las Vegas Aces are to make a run, she's going to be a huge key, a huge key in them making a run. So now, wow, let's start with some heavy hitters who they signed, starting with Angel McCauchy. Here's another veteran player, going to add leadership, has a killer mentality. If Angel is anything like the Angel that we knew before injury, the rest of the league better watch out because it never hurts to add an Olympian to your roster. When Kelsey Plum got hurt, I was like, wow, who is Bill going to get to replace her? But Bill always pulled a rabbit out of his hat. He signed Alexis Bentley, who I think is a great guard that would fit into his system and the type of guards that he liked. Hard, tough nose, up in your face defender. I think she's going to do very, very well there. Then, now here go the unsung heroes. And these are two players that whenever they play for Bill, they are great. That's Carolyn Sword and Avery Worley Talbert. Whenever they come and play for Bill, Bill seems to get the best out of them. So guess what? Las Vegas, here you come, and I'm sure you're doubling down this year. So good luck to you guys as well. Now, Phoenix Mercury. Here's a team that I've always loved to watch and I love to watch um, play and compete because they always have the heart of a champion. Coached by a coach that I think is one of the best coaches in the league, and Sandy Brondello. Sandy used to be an assistant coach with the Sparks, and she's a coach that, let me tell you, when I say she dots her I's and cross her T's, you will not find a coach more prepared than Sandy Brondello. Now, she's done lost some players, but she done regrouped. They lost the Juana Bonner, which I think is gonna be a huge hit, but I think they've added some players that can make up some of the difference in the loss of Duana Bonner. But once again, a talented team that whenever you have Tarasi and Brittany Griner, 
You always have a chance. I love Tarasi. Tarasi just might be the best player to ever play in the WNBA. Put that with a post that's arguably one of the best posts in the world. I mean, Phoenix will always have a chance with this dynamic duel. But it doesn't stop with just those two. They've added another great player. A guard that I think is a phenomenal player, a hard worker, and a winner. And that's Skylar Diggins-Smith. A lot of people think that her and, Tarasi, her and Tarasi may not mesh, but I think Skylar is smart enough to understand to take from Tarasi what she needs to make herself better. And I love Skylar because Skylar, when I used to watch her on the national team, is a team player. So I think she's going to navigate that, that situation very well, and Phoenix is going to, be one of, going to have one of the best backcourts in the league. And don't stop there. Unfortunately, Jessica Breland just announced that she was not coming. So I think that is a huge, huge hit. Because here in Jessica, you had an athletic player, a defender, awesome on the boards. And with not having Dewana, it's going to leave a hole. But like I said, they have a talented coach that I think will figure out a way to still, still make her team competitive. They've added... Kevon, who I think is a great post. Shatori walker Kimbrell, who I think is one of the best three-point shooters. And now with Phoenix, may have an opportunity, or she will, have an opportunity to stay on the floor a lot more. So I look for her to improve and get better, and I think she's a great addition to the team. I also believe that Bria Hartley would help this team. She comes from a winning program in Connecticut. I thought she played great in New York. She'll have a new start in Phoenix. And this is going to be a team that I think will go how Tarasi goes. If Tarasi is healthy and ready to go, this team is going to compete for a championship. So Phoenix, let the mercury rise. Chicago. Chicago, Chicago, Chicago. Here's what I want to say about Chicago. I love, love, love this roster and this roster with these young legs. I think James Wade has done a great job assembling a great team that is primed and ready for this 2020 season. He's also added another great mind on the bench with him and Olaf Lang. And those two guys, they are no strangers because they won a lot of championships over in Russia coaching together. And the thing I love about both of them, James and Olaf, is that they are great player developmental coaches. So I look for their young players to keep getting better. But this is a super, super talented roster. And like I said before, with some great young legs. And they have a great leader in Courtney Vandersloot. Courtney has been, ever since she entered the league, one of the best point guards in the league. She can pass. She can knock down the three. I mean, just a super, super talented player. And I think the better she's gotten, Chicago has gotten. But then, my God, she has a two guard, and Natalie Quigley, swish. Reggie Miller, you ain't got nothing on Quigley. Quigley is deadly. Then, if that's not enough, Diamond the Shields, Miss All World, Miss Do Everything, I mean, she's true, like her billing says she's great and she lives up to the billing that she's great. I've watched her mature over the last season and I think she's ready to also take on a leadership role this year. She can do a little of everything. She can shoot, put the ball on the floor. She can handle, she can pull up threes. If you've never seen Diamond DeShields play, I tell you, watch the WNBA because she's spectacular and, and one, of, one of the WNBA's brightest stars. Then there's Cheyenne Parker. Now, if you're talking about a player that had a bust out season last year, Cheyenne Parker is one of the big reasons that Chicago made it to the semifinals last year. I look for her to continue to get better. I mean, she's hard nosed, she's tough, she plays defense, and she got great moves around the basket. So Cheyenne, continue to improve. I mean, you impress me tremendously last year. Then there's Stephanie Dolson. And here's the sleeper effect. Stephanie is a player 
that you can put her on any team and she's going to make that team better. You know why? Because she's willing to do whatever it is that the team needs. No questions asked. She plays within herself and with her playing within herself, she makes this team better. Every team could wish they had a Stephanie Dawson. She is a secret weapon and a lot of people, hopefully you will notice that this year. I'm telling you, they've had some, oh wow. Jantel Lavender, unfortunately is out. You know, I wish her a speedy recovery with her foot. But when I say wow, they have one player that's coming in, that's amazing. She's 6'6", post height, and guard skills. And that's Azure Stevens. And when I tell you she's a delight to watch, like I said, 6'6", with guard skills. Can handle the ball, shoot the three, run the floor, defend. This is a new home for her. She was traded from Dallas to Chicago. And I'm Chicago, you guys are in for a treat for years, for years to come. I love, love your chances for 2020. So now, there you have my predictions, who I think have the best chance to win a championship. Los Angeles, Seattle, Las Vegas Aces, Phoenix, and Chicago, in no particular order. No offense, there are some dark horses out there as well. I think Connecticut, I think Kurt Miller is an awesome coach. For losing Jacquel Jones, I think that's a bit much. But one thing about Kurt, like I said, he's a great coach. He would probably will figure it out, and I look for them to make a run. I'm going to tell you another team I like, and I think people are sleeping on them. Nikki down in Atlanta, if you can pull it together quickly and get them up and running, she has a great, great team. Another great team that has a great future with great young legs. With the addition of Gloria Johnson, who I think brings toughness, energy, and a will to win. Add that with a very, very talented rookie and Kennedy Carter. And then let's not forget the new additions, Strickland and Miss Courtney Wims. And Elizabeth Wims, who's always been steady and ready to go. Atlanta, oh yeah, they, you can see them coming from behind and leading the charge. They can make a run as well in 2020. So Connecticut and Atlanta, you're my dog horses. And unfortunately from, for the Washington Mystics, let me say congratulations to them. But losing Natasha Cloud, Elena Deladon, and Tina Charles, even though Mike's a super great coach, I think that might be a bit much to overcome. But for all you teams in the WNBA, all you guys have an opportunity to win. It's gonna come down to hard work and who wants it the most. But for me, I'm looking forward to seeing this great, fantastic 2020 season. So I want to say to all you teams out there, stay safe and work hard and have a great year this year. And if you like what you heard today, you know what to do. Subscribe with love. I'm out.